Hello everyone, it's Chaplain Bert Campbell here and I'm so glad to be able to spend these next few minutes with you. This is our time for some encouraging words. We've been doing this just about four years now and I'm so grateful for the opportunity we have, we can choose it every day if we want, to find encouragement in the presence of the Lord. And how do we find his presence? Well, we come to him with an open heart. We come seeking him and opening our heart to the Lord Jesus. We look to the scripture. We not only read it, but we choose to act on it. We choose to believe it. That's what faith is. We take our belief and we put it into practice. And as we look to God, as we choose to honor him, as we uh, we look to honor his word and act accordingly, there is a hope that comes. Because we understand and realize we're not walking through this life on our own, simply trying to find our own way. That could be daunting. But in the midst of everyday living, we can know that there's a God who loves us, who works with us in any given moment, who directs us, who comforts us, who empowers us, who gives us the grace and mercy we need each and every day. And as we experience a vibrant relationship with him, there is encouragement to be found every single time. It doesn't mean that we will never have off moments where we feel disappointed or disheartened. But when we do, we can know that God loves us just the same. And he will see us through no matter what we face. It's important that we renew our minds, that we feed our spirit. What comes into us has impact and will shape us. And so I'm thankful for this time, even right now, that uh, you've taken to join me as we look to God's word, as we turn to him in prayer, and find in him the life and the hope that we most certainly need. The scripture that I want to share with you comes right from the very beginning of of the Bible. Once again this year, here we are right near the start of a new year, and uh, and I have chosen on my phone um, to uh, to use a Bible app, an application called the U Version Bible. Y O U U Version, and that's a Bible app where you can look up just about any particular translation of the Scripture that you want, and uh, and read verses. But not only is it a tool for finding scriptures, they also have hundreds of Bible reading plans and just ways of working through the scripture, certain books of the Bible, certain themes, certain topics. Often, many years, I will use one of these applications that helps to lead me through the entire Bible over the course of the next year. In fact, the one that I'm using right now um, picks two different Old Testament passages, two uh, different uh, New Testament passages and a psalm for each and every single day. And I can uh, look up those verses on my own and read them, or I can even hit a play button on that app and it will uh, read it to me. So sometimes I do both. Some days I'll get up in the morning early and I'll stop and I'll read through those verses and I'll pray. Other days um, I'll let them play and read to me and let uh, my heart just listen and then I'll pray based on those scriptures. All that to say is, of course, it started right there at the beginning of the Bible. And that opening verse I want to share with all of us today. From the book of Genesis, the first chapter and the first verse, we get an account of the creation of all that is, where it simply says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And as I reflected on that simple little verse, I thought there was something in the heart of God, something that developed, that grew, where he decided to make everything that is, this world, and you and me in it, and all that this world contains, and all that this universe contains. And why did he do that? He wanted a space for us, for you and me that we might discover him, that we might come to know him, that we would choose to love him as much as we are loved. And in this, the space of this world and, it, and the expanded universe, 
where a place it's a place where we can learn that we can grow that we can work on relationships together that we can develop that we can study that we can be educated that we can learn through trial and error that we can learn through discipline that that we can become all that he's intended for us god made a space for you and i in the very beginning And as we step into a new year, it is also very much, in a sense, an opportunity for a new beginning. And as God made space for you and I so long ago, really, I think, because of his love for us, can I ask us, have we made space for him? And as we look at 2024, could this be a new beginning where we open our hearts and lives to him in such a way that we say, God, Here's a space for you, and not just any space, the preeminent space. Lord, that I want my life, my world to revolve around your goodness, your love, the truth of your word, that I might know you and know your ways, Lord, and walk in them, and that if we directed our lives like that, pursuing the goodness of God, making space for him to grow and develop and saturate our lives, what a different world this could be. And what a different kind of life we could have. The good news of the gospel, it's never too late to start a life like that. It's never too late to say, Lord, I need you. And I want to give you the space in my life to become all that I need you to be in me. And as we do that, and as we look to the Lordship of Christ, his presence fills us and gives us a strength for everyday living. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And why? So that we might have a space to come to know him. And as we step into this new year, let's choose that we're going to create a place in our hearts and in every aspect of our life to honor the Lord, to seek him, and give him the space to be who he is in the midst of us, the Lord of all and the one who loves us most. What an encouraging way to live with the Lord and his spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ, the center of our lives. And with that thought today, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that in your sovereign wisdom, you created the world and you put us here. Not a single one of us is here by accident. We are all here, Lord, because of your love. No matter how the circumstances of our birth took place, no matter whether that was in the midst of rejoicing or heartache or tragedy or the foolishness of people or the planning of people, Lord, we can't control any of those outside factors. What we do know is that each and every single one of us, every life is precious to you. And having been placed in this world that you created, You have a design and a purpose for us all, that we would know you, that we would love you with all our hearts. And so that's how we come to you today. Lord, asking you to fill the space in us, that you'd be the center of our lives, that our world would revolve around you, and that you wouldn't occupy some space just off to the side somewhere, but that you would be, Lord Jesus, right at the very core of what we say, what we think, all that we do, capture our hearts afresh and lord with the start of this new year here we are in the beginning help us to create space for you to live and move and have your being thank you for hearing our prayer today thank you for your love and for being with us even in this very moment in christ's name we pray amen it's a new year glad to be back with you Tune in uh, tomorrow, every day this week, Monday through Friday. We'll do our best to have videos for you to see here at Friendship Village at uh, 8.30 in the morning. What am I saying? What time do we do them? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock in the morning every day. This uh, video will repeat um, at 8 o'clock in the evening as well. It's brand new at 4.30. You can tell I haven't done this all month. We've been off for the month. Let me let me say all that again. Uh, uh, these videos will show 4.30 today, 8 o'clock tonight, and uh, 8 o'clock again tomorrow morning. And uh, if you miss, if you ever miss one, tune in to our YouTube page, youtube.com um, backslash 
the at symbol, then FVC Chaplain, and you can catch our, our other encouraging word videos, our special services, our memorials, our Sunday mornings, our Bible studies. All of that can be found through the links on that page. If you are watching online, would this video help encourage someone else? Perhaps consider sending them the link. And also online, you can click on this circle to subscribe to these videos and be notified when new ones appear, or click on the box below to watch many in our past history. So good to be with you today. Have a great day in the Lord. It's a new year. Amen. See you soon.